Hi Capricorns, Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have another awesome reading Capricorn and I hope you guys are well. And in this reading we have the power of words. And what this is, is uh, somebody realizes whatever they're going to say to you or you might. And right here we see the Two of Cups. Yeah, somebody's coming to uh, write with the pre-shuffle, right? So, uh, you know, somebody here is twirling the idea of a new beginning with you. We have the Queen of Swords twirling the uh, the butterfly. That's what she's doing, right? And then we have the Two of Cups here, and this is a tight embrace in this deck. So, you know, the power of words, they're coming to tell you they want a new beginning with you, and they realize what they say, how they word it, is going to be really important, right? It is. Sometimes that's a make or break it, right? Of course, right? And so uh, this person, she's looking at the spider, a huge spider. So she's thinking to herself, and she looks a little scared, kind of. Uh, and she's a witch. She's sitting on her uh, her, her broomstick. But uh, she sees the spider so big, and she's telling herself, be careful what you say. That's what she's doing. That's what that's about. Like, I could really make problems for myself if I don't say the right thing. So somebody's coming, and they're coming to honor you in some way. We have commemoration. So commemoration is basically to honor something of the past. Uh, so maybe this is somebody from your past. It could be. Maybe uh, maybe there's just a day that it doesn't always have to be. Maybe you guys were in college together or something, and I don't know. There's some special thing that they remember about maybe where they met you, possibly. Uh, yeah, and we have the bat, awakening and initiation. All right, well, the bat, bat will wake you up because they're terribly ugly, but they're terribly cute, uh, right? That's how life is. It is kind of like that. I don't know what they call that, a paradox. I'm not really sure. I'll be, I'll be honest. Uh, but this is awakening. Somebody has awakened. Yeah. And so they are initiating a new beginning. An awakening always brings a new beginning, doesn't it? You wake up in the morning, I'm awakening, right? I mean, we call it waking up, but you know, when you wake up in the morning, you have a new beginning, you have a day there for yourself. So even if you have to go, whatever you're doing that day, it doesn't matter. You still, still have a new day, right? That God has given you or the universe is granting you or right. So we try to look at it in a positive way, don't we? Yeah, we do. But the bat is awakening, like a spiritual awakening, right? You could call waking up in the morning a spiritual awakening. You could if you had some type of major dream in the, in the night, right? Yeah. But somebody has awakened here and they're taking control of their life because here's the winter's throne. The winter's throne is I'm taking control of my life here. Uh, and even though it's been tough, she's sitting, uh, and she's sitting in her throne in the, like, in the forest, but you know, winter it's the snow is melting here. So, and she's in this dress here, like, you know, you're never going to be in the snow in that, but the sun is coming up here. Uh, and she has the owl over here. So she's taking control of her life with her power because she's in the throne, uh, and she's being wise. So she's being smart about her future. Uh, and she's overcome something. Yeah. Because she's taking control, the foxes are here. And the foxes are also about, you know, I'm being smart, not, not terribly calculating. I'm being smart. Here's the crows. They are smart too, right? There's a picture of power and light in the back Capricorn. So, you know, you know how that is, right? <laughs> so she's being smart. Uh, and she is using the power of her words to basically carve out her new beginning for herself, right? This may be a man. We don't, yeah, we don't have any uh, preference here. No, we don't. Uh, and before we begin, Capricorn, if you would like your own psychic greeting, you may always get one. They are accurate. I'm a Silva grad. Uh, if you don't understand somebody, you don't know them, you don't trust them. Or if you need a perspective about your own life, uh, you need help with your perspective, definitely can help out. Uh, we do the tarot at the end, so you have a unique insight. Uh, and sometimes, if time permits, we do an I Ching reading, and that can help you understand the way somebody thinks or what they're, what they're thinking about, right? It can help you with a decision or your perspective. Uh, and yeah, and so all that's in the description box. If you want a regular tarot reading with me, uh, I offer that. And so also, you know, 
Uh, I also read natal charts and everything's below. And you can also find uh, a five minute free psychic reading with Mystic Sense. Uh, that's below. Let's get into it, uh, Capricorn. And here's the manatee. And he's real cute, right? He said, you know, I couldn't be a dolphin. I didn't, I didn't get the good looks of a dolphin. No, I didn't. So, mm -hmm. but it's okay. I'll be this manatee, right? Because uh, he has his own beauty. He definitely does as all animals do. Yeah. And so here he is and he has a special place within, uh, within, you know, on the earth ecology, he has something to offer to help keep the earth balanced. Yeah. All animals do. Uh, they do. And so here's the manatee and, uh, acceptance, simplify, simplify and slow down. So we have some type of an ending because of an awakening here and somebody is slowing down and they have accepted that they have, they have had a spiritual awakening and they want a new beginning with you. That's really what this is. Uh, and this may be you about your career for some, it definitely could be right. Maybe you are returning to something in your past. The commemoration card is here. And that is, you know, talking about remembering the past. It's really about honoring it and about something in the past. It doesn't have to be a person necessarily. Uh, and here are the bunnies, right? Here comes Peter Cottontail, you know, coming down the bunny trail, but here they are. This is fertility, right? When we see the bunnies. Okay. And the power of words is here. Like I said, she's definitely going to use uh, mints. She's not, she's going to be using her words wisely. Here's the winter's throne. This is acting. Uh, this is taking control of your life. And this is about a cycle ending because it is winter ending. And we already know winter has ended in the, in the Northern hemisphere. Uh, or do they call it the Western hemisphere? I've, well, I know I'm in the Northern hemisphere. So, uh, I feel like it's both, right? I'm not sure. I'll be honest with you guys, but definitely, uh, in the United States, uh, I'm, you know, I'm on the West coast. This is the, uh, either the Western or the Northern. Okay. Anyway, but this here is a cycle ending. This is my whole point. And, you know, uh, spring, we are cycles are ending left and right here because we're in eclipse season, right? Of course we are. Uh, interesting because we're coming to the solar eclipse of Aries and this is about taking, you know, this is about thinking about yourself and what's really important for yourself. That's really what it is because Aries is, uh, is about the self. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. And so let's get into it Capricorn and let's see what we have here. These have been shuffled. The bottom of the deck is the three of swords and it has a bandage on the heart. So this, the swords are out. Okay. That's good. And this is a healing. It could be a healing. Maybe somebody had you in a third party. Maybe they broke your heart, right? Uh, but it's, it is healing. And, uh, that's, what's going on here. Maybe somebody wants to heal a situation with you or you, them. So let's see. And, uh, wow. Are these reversed here? <clears throat> yeah, I've So this is the three of swords, uh, actually reversed. And, uh, these are reversed. I just shuffled them, but they're reversed. So these are really in the upright. So we're going to take them. Uh, that's good Capricorn. You're in the upright. So the three of swords reversed is definitely a healing or coming out of some heartbreak. Uh, the, the bandage is adding to that. The world is reversed. The five of swords, we're going to cover her cause she's, you know, bare breasted and, you know, mm -hmm. She's not breastfeeding, so we can't allow that. No, we can't. <laughs> and so uh, this is kind of a joke here, right? All right. So yeah, Capricorn. And in this reading, we have two sixes. When we see the bat, somebody has awakened. They know what they want in their life. They recognize what's important to them because this is an awakening and it's a new beginning with the initiation, right? So somebody here, Capricorn is completely aware of, they want a new beginning. Now this may be you or them, and you are the overall energy. So this is you doing this, or you are the wish here, or you are the one that somebody wants to talk to and they are framing their words very wisely. Right? Yeah. And they're accepting an ending or something because the manatee is about acceptance and slowing down, also simplifying. This really could be a third party ends just like this three of swords reversed, right? It could be now it might not be a relationship. It could be, I'm getting rid of my ego. 
Uh, I'm getting rid of uh, maybe, you know, people who are just meddling in my life, but there's something being kind of let go here. And that's why the season changes over here with the winter's throne, right? The season changing in front of her. She's waiting for a new beginning too, because she's dressed for summer, but it's actually spring, the beginning of spring, because uh, the snow is melting over here, right? Now, crossing you, Capricorn, is the Four of Pentacles. Somebody wants to hold on to you or hold on to this, or you want to hold on to something here. In this reading, Capricorn, if it's not about love and somebody else, you may be holding on to something that you, like you woke up and had an awakening about something and you've accepted it. And maybe the power of words is with yourself. I have to be careful of my self-talk. You might, there might be something in your past that you are returning to commemoration or you're honoring. Maybe you are honoring yourself here. But if that is you doing that, you are like, there's an honor here and there's an acceptance to a change or something like that. There's acceptance, uh, and you know, you guys should w really watch the, uh, the reading that I'm going to have on my, you know, divine soul astrology channel, which will be about the eclipse because it will be about endings and new beginnings. And we all know that endings and new beginnings have to be accepted, except, you know, when the tower sometimes will come in, right? Uh, the tower could have came here, came and went as possible, especially with these five of swords, eight of swords, but maybe you are accepting something and you're going back to something in your past or, you know, maybe it could be about family possibly, but there's something, there's a realization here to make something better, to have a new beginning, whether or not it is your love life or your career, because you guys are the 10th house of authority and ambition. Yeah. I'm always very nice to Capricorns, right? Because, right, they might muscle me down. All right, Capricorn. <laughs> and so uh, four of pentacles. Yeah, it is about, they do, they are, they're strong. Yeah, let's see what else we have. Uh, and we have the three of pentacles with it. So this is somebody who wants to work things out with you. Or you're trying to just, like I said, work things out in your own life. And there is a cycle that ends here. The nine is here, the nine of wands, the world card. The winter's throne, these are all cycles that are ending. And the awakening is a cycle that ends too, because it brings a new, a new view, a new insight, a new acceptance. Now, uh, so there's something you're holding on to, but there's something you're letting go of. The world card sits reversed and she's naked. Okay. And you know, this may be about somebody from your past, if it's love, because it is unfinished business right? Yeah, it is. So let's get a card on the world card reversed. And we have the ace of wands. Mm -hmm. And that is reversed. Okay. I just want to make sure. Cause I don't, you know, I don't, I have reversals in my, I do, you, you know, but I don't, not if there's four forty-five, right? Yeah. In the deck, right? So this is, uh, we're going to uncover her because in a way we're just going to put the third eye on her. We are. Okay. So here we have, uh, why it's all happening is that, oh, wow, the Ace of Wands reversed. So see, something gets let go here because there's unfinished business. This is somebody who has accepted with a man of manatee that something, uh, something doesn't work. And uh, it could be a career you're returning to where you're thinking this is the best for me possible. And whatever it is, it's inspiring. But there's also, because it's the Ace of Wands, there's also an understanding here that I don't want something else. That's why the cycles are ending here. In the past is the Five of Swords. So this can be mind games. It could be, you know, defeat. It could be victory and defeat or either or. It can be uh, a, a really difficult change five of swords it could be uh but it does have to do with uh it's something has to do with the way you're thinking right or something that happened uh maybe a decision was made in the past uh, but i feel like what you are doing here capricorn is or your person is defeating something 
because whatever's being kind of let go or a cycle that's being closed, it is being defeated. It's like an, a, it's an acceptance here that, hey, that needs to be like definitely put down instead of just, you know, like gently, like kind of letting it go. No, it definitely has to be like with force because the fives are forceful. They're forceful change. They're, they're not good. There's no good five. Yeah. And we have the two of wands with it. So this, somebody was at a crossroads, you or your person. And so that's why there is a victory and a defeat here, or there is, uh, this can be a choice sometimes between two different things and, or, you know, possibly, uh, that was creating maybe a third party within your soul. It could be ego or just something like that. It's possible, right? Because there's a new way of thinking here for sure. But this had put somebody at a crossroads here, this choice, two of wands. It did, but it's over. She's sitting in the throne now, like with all her power going, hey, I'm taking control of my life now and closing a cycle. The fool reversed. Yeah, somebody just ends something that, or you did, but uh, this is, there's something that's like not inspiring here anymore with the full reversed. Yeah, it's not. And somebody, this also too, somebody could have been a real fool here, right? Like just not that wise, but after they woke up, the full reverse can be somebody who's not wise after they awakened. Look at the, uh, inner depth, the wisdom here, right? Yeah, definitely the wisdom and the power now once the awakening is because she's sitting in the throne with her power. You can see her, right? She's beautiful and she's sitting in her power and she's sitting in her power with her intelligence, her intuition, everything, because here is the crow or the raven. And then we have the owl and the foxes. So there's wisdom here, right? The page of swords Capricorn is showing up. Mm-hmm. The page of swords, excuse me, you guys. And we have the page of pentacles with it. And this is uh, what's on your mind or how you're thinking possibly, or your person. Uh, this is a way to think definitely, or a mindset. This is somebody who wonders if they can have something valuable here or a new start. I feel like there's, there's communication here with these two, uh, with these two pages, because here we have the power of words. So as I said, at the start of the reading, somebody is coming and they are, uh, choosing their words, uh, choosing their words wisely. They could have defeated you in the past Capricorn five of swords, and they could have done it, uh, like very foolishly. Here's the fool reversed, right? Kind of stupidly possibly, but here, here's a choice being made in the past two of wands. I'm making this choice for my new life. He's holding the globe. And we're going to get another card, King of Wands, and maybe you're dealing with a fire sign. But this is definitely to have something passionate, right? When we see the King of Wands and to like choose the life that you really want, because that's what uh, the fire signs are about. They really are, right? And so, uh, and something, and the wands are about, yeah, inspiration here. And so that's what somebody's doing here. They're taking the power here uh, to you or your person. This person's bringing you an offer, Capricorn. And what this means is that I want something that I really value, I really believe in now. The pentacles are about value systems. Uh, I really want beliefs. I really want something that I believe in because I value it. And that's what somebody's doing here. And I said they are honoring here. They're honoring their self-esteem or, or their beliefs. This is like Taurus energy, right? Or the pentacle, you are, you know, also the earth element. This is valuing what I believe in. In other words, somebody steps into their power here and they kind of accept it. Like I need to do this if I want my life to be inspiring, right? If I want to have what I really believe in here. And here we have the six of wands in the near future. So this is really sitting here as a recognition of, of this awakening and accepting. Remember, She's accepting this, this wreath off of his, off of, uh, from his hand. Right. And this is about victory. It's about overcoming too. So yeah, there is an overcoming here and the King of cups pours out the cup 
and this can be a rejection, right? He's, you know, in this deck, he's pouring it out and justice is here. This is wisdom. This is making a decision to reject something. The same way we have uh, manatee, which is accept something, right? Remember I told you he had to accept his fate, right? Well, I'm not physically beautiful, but you know, I'm great, right? Yeah, that's right. That's how everybody, you know, we're not all going to be super, uh, you know, physically beautiful, but we're all unique and, you know, mm -hmm, for sure. And, you know, we might be super intelligent or talented or compassionate or whatever, uh, whatever great qualities we have. We might have all of them, Capricorn, right? I mean, it might, there might be, you know, a few of us maybe, but yeah, it's possible, right? Uh, but you know, this is really interesting here. I'm just kind of a little bit making jokes here, but somebody really accepts something. <laughs> it's, it's interesting how they have the manatee, right? That's what I mean. I've accepted that, uh, you know, when I was standing in line for beauty, uh, you know, I was at the end of the line, right? I missed out. Yeah. And justice and the eight of wands reversed. Yeah. There's a decision here to let something go that kind of was blocking here. Eight of wands reversed, uh, or maybe just too much, something like that, something that wasn't inspiring. Eight of Wands is about inspiration. And uh, Five of Cups uh, shows up here, and it is reversed. This is also a new beginning. And this is, uh, in the environment, is some type of give and take that that is, or balance that is being created with this accepting of a new beginning. Uh, it can be, uh, the it can be a new beginning, and this can be kind of ending a third party. It could, uh, it can. And it can also be, I'm, I'm leaving this regret behind. I don't, because somebody could have regretted closing another cycle down for this, uh, unfinished business here. Yeah. The commemoration card is showing there's honor here for some, t something that is unfinished. And eight of swords, Capricorn showing up here with the, uh, and he's cutting her ties in this deck, right? Yeah. This is what you have in your environment, Capricorn, is a new beginning of balance and harmony in your life. Or if this is about them, it's a new beginning of sharing and them seeing you as an equal. And with that three of swords reversed and the five of swords here and the eight of swords here and this king pouring this cup out, maybe they didn't like, maybe they didn't respect you or, or value you right? This person, excuse me, may be wondering if you will value them. Page of swords, page of pentacles. <coughs> I beg your pardon. Eight of swords with the five of wands. Look at these. There's lots of challenges in this reading. There is, but there's this beautiful energy here. Somebody gets their act together. And I mean that they have awakened and this kind of sets the tone for, you know, you can't really have things uh, that are in a higher vibration. If you are not trusting your intuition, if you have not had some type of an awakening in your life, unless you came out the womb, like, you know, Jesus Christ or somebody like that, or maybe mother Teresa, I'm not sure who else, uh, Gandhi, uh, you know, I, I don't know, right. Uh, yoga, what's his name? The yoga Parananda. I forget his name exactly. Right. Uh, which is interesting because I'm listening to his book and his mother told him, that he had a major spiritual calling, uh, in a letter that she wrote and she passed away. So he found the letter, like, I don't know, six or seven months later, eight months later. And, uh, I have yet to like listen to the rest of the book, but, uh, you know, he was, you know, huge, right. And he used to come to the United States and, uh, and talk about, you know, the spiritual realm and the riches that are there. Right. And, uh, yeah, I don't think they, you know, I don't know if they're doing that now, but there is more acceptance of, of course, right? Uh, yeah, in a way there is for, for the people, I feel like there is right. So, uh, which is another, you know, discussion here, right? But there is a rejection here and it's, you know, it's possible that I forgot where I was going with it, but there's right here. I feel like this is leaving regret behind too, uh, because of these troubling cards, five of swords, eight of swords the king pouring, this is pouring the cup. This is leaving out the regret here. Let's have something fair. Six of pentacles. I recognize, uh, you know, I recognize really like what's important in my life. Right. 
And so that's what's going on here. This is kind of a trip over here. It is in a way. And eight of swords, five of wands. He, this is cutting ties. He's letting her out. Somebody's cutting their own ties here to something that they don't want anymore that is tied to the past. And maybe they're returning to the past on some level too, right? In a different way. Uh, five of wands. This is fighting challenges. This is cutting ties to these challenges underneath the five of swords. I don't want these challenges anymore. I'm wiser. I've awakened and things like that. Uh, and I'm going after what's really important to me, what I honor, right? And uh, nine of wands showing up reversed. And this is, I'm no longer protecting something with the eight of pentacles. Yeah, see, this is closing a cycle. Remember the nines are endings. They're completions. All the nines are completions as our tens are, excuse me. And the eight is here and this is devotion. I'm, I'm closing this cycle out. I don't want to protect something here. And I'm initiating a new beginning with the bat. And I have the eight of pentacles to show my devotion. Yeah, we're going to end this reading. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. God bless you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.